We know you want to fly your tumblewing, but learning to fly will go much easier if you take a few moments to learn how to release the glider. Problems with releasing the tumblewing cause more trouble than anything else. Hold the tumblewing right in the middle between your thumb and forefinger. Remember how you bent one edge up and the other down? The edge up should face you. Watch what happens in slow motion when the long edge that's towards you is not tilted up. It starts gliding okay, but then it suddenly reverses direction and comes towards you. This makes it impossible to fly. This is how it should glide, and the long edge towards you tilts up. By the way, notice that it doesn't turn the way a wheel would turn. The top of the wheel turns the direction that the wheel's going. Not so for the tumblewing. It's gliding this way, but the top is rotating in the opposite direction. It matters because if you try to start it going the wrong way, it could mess up your launch. Experiment to find a release that works for you. Does it launch better holding the front edge straight down or straight ahead? Does it go better if you flick your wrist? Does it go better when you freeze your hand and just drop it? Sometimes it glides, sometimes it doesn't. Pay attention to what works and what doesn't because you won't be able to pay attention to that once you're actually trying to fly it. If the tumblewing keeps veering off to one side, check first to make sure the stabilizer tips are still at right angles. If your tumblewing is still veering the same way, you could be unconsciously tilting the tumblewing. Make sure you're not releasing it to one side. Experiment to see if you can steer it. Just by tilting, this student can steer it left, right, or straight. You want it to go straight. Once your launches work more often than not, you're ready to fly. Here are a few tips based on observations of where beginners have trouble. Make sure to drop your tumblewing from a sufficient height and intercept it before it gets too close to the ground. Keep the angle of the cardboard steep and don't change it. Most people start out trying to lift the tumblewing so it goes higher by tilting the board towards a more horizontal angle. But that's actually counterproductive. When the cardboard tilts back like this, the tumbling flies too close, but flies better when the steep angle returns. Visualize it this way. If you move the cardboard through the air completely horizontal, it just cuts the air. There's no way to surf on it. But as you start to tilt the cardboard, the air deflects to form a wave. When the cardboard is steep, you're making the strongest wave to surf on. Maintain about this angle. How do you make your tumblewing fly up higher? Simply go faster. That makes the air rush over the cardboard faster, lifting it up more. You might go so fast that it blows right over the top. That's good, because that helps you learn how to walk faster. Walk just a little slower than how fast it takes to push it over the edge. How high should the tumbling fly? About even with the top of the edge of the cardboard. If it goes lower than that, you'll have to walk faster to keep it flying. Faster, faster. Oh, 
This is because you'll be missing some of the air passing over the top that makes the wave stronger. Make the tumbling go where you want it to go. You gently turn the cardboard in the direction you want to head, and it will follow. In these overhead shots, you can see the students navigating around desks at will. Here, the camera operator created turbulence which upended the tumbling, but this student kept her cool and regained control. When you're flying your tumbling, make sure to keep it away from other people and objects because they will create turbulence. You must also make sure that your movements are smooth, not jerky. Learning something completely new always starts out difficult and awkward. It seems like we'll never master it, and if we give up, we never will. If we keep practicing, we'll eventually get it. We already mentioned that tissue paper is even lighter than phone book paper. You can make small flyers from it. John Collins can fly them with just his hands. I tried making a tumbling from aluminum foil, and it works. Who knows what other variations are waiting to be invented.